75 miles and a lifetime of basketball memories between the Pitt Panthers and the West Virginia Mountaineers. And today, the backyard brawl comes back to life. For the 186th time, this rivalry is renewed. Bolden three and gold. Bolden gets it blocked. And he's a mob who needs to score for the Mountaineers. Five on Dees Tony. Seven on the shot clock for the Mountaineers. Bolden, left-handed three, got it. Xavier Johnson all the way to the rack. That's how you do it. Both teams. Napper calls his own number. Here's Xavier Johnson. He had the dunk, now he has a trip. Here's Johnson again attacking, and it goes up. Here's Johnson. He's been all the offense for Pitt. McGowan's fellow freshman. Good with the trip. You got to call that. Bolden off the mark. And Andrew Gordon, the reserve, comes on. A fight for the loose ball, and we have a jump ball. And Andrew Gordon's not moving, standing over one of the Pitt Panthers. Listen. And Andrew Gordon, number 12 for West Virginia. Let's watch right here. They're going to just grab the ball, and it's going to be a tie-up. And Deer, the most experienced player on this Pitt roster. Chukwuku off the mark. Here's McGowan's off the window. This one, they had the mismatch inside. There's Kanate in the post. Splits the double team and gets the right hand to go. Do what you do best. Play near the basket first. That's oh the my. duck I was telling you was coming. And Deer. City and Deer with an exclamation point. Remember our conversation with him yesterday? I said, I want to see one of those. Now he's going to get doubled, so he's got to see the court and be a playmaker from there. Instead, he spins and can't hit. Good follow tip. Well, we might have ourselves one, if not more, Sports Center top 10 nominees. He snaps, I think, roughly in the fourth quarter of games this year. That's not his fault, certainly. Ahmad, nice pass, big to big. Former walk on. Pittsburgh, the way they adjusted to the crowd today. And the they played hard. I'm surprised at how intense they've been. Uh, like you said, they got three freshmen. I didn't know if they were coming. Long. We were talking yesterday, and I said to him, hey, you were a step slow, but two steps ahead. Right now it's West Virginia who's ahead. Jump hook back. About it the last couple of days. I know he misses them. Jeff Cable the second was a great man, a great role model. Points on. Chase Harler for three. We've seen that before. Napper off the window. On him. They get it to Kanate. Two feet in the paint. Short. He gets it back. And Kanate with the flush. Into that restricted area and play vertically. And he doesn't have a ton of blocks, but he's had, he has a ton of intimidations. McGowan's to a 2-3 zone. Why are they doing that? Well, they just want to control the paint. Harris with the easy foul on the game. Third leading freshman scorer in the ACC. Chukwuku for three. Inside Ahmad, quick to the hole. They have their season high in turnovers. They have 17 today. Throw it inside. Oh, that's a good shot. Bolden for three. Yeah. Raft, they told him, hey, here's some things you have to work on. One of them was his. Wilson Frame. Got it. And it's true in business. It's true in any sports team. You have to have a way of doing things every minute of the day that's going to allow your team to be successful. You could say the same for West Virginia. They have a 12-point lead now. Now Xavier Johnson, he has four fouls this afternoon. Johnson, and then... Now five on the shot clock for West Virginia. Picked off by Johnson. Watch out. And he threw... I love the intensity. Who was that, McGowan's? I love that. 
Take it to him. Harris with the shot. A three can make it a single digit deficit for the Panthers. Instead, it's McGee. They did not get into the offense quickly. Inside a mob. Lost it. Here comes Pitt. Ellison puts it down. Block from Guess behind. Who? Guess who? And Bolden came later yeah. for the Panthers. Yep. A couple transfers, grad transfer. Tony attacking. Another one of those to the zone usually. Kanate. Xavier Johnson played for Joe Root and Morgan's son at Bishop O'Connell. Bolden. Whoa! In the Crosstown City matchup. Oh, that'd be fun. Little Graders ice cream. Another. <laughs> How about this? A decent meeting in the backyard brawl between West Virginia and Pittsburgh goes to the home team. The West Virginia Mountaineers now hold a 98 to 88 edge in the all time series with a 69 59 win over the Pitt Panthers. West Virginia improves to 6 and 3 on the year.